Paulie, congratulations on your first win. Must be a relief to finally have a win. Oh, mate, took a lot of pressure off me and uh, and the boys, I think, so, yeah, it's a great win. How have you found the first year head coach of Wanderers? Yeah, well, like, I was here last year with Mark for a while, uh, assisted him, and, you know, I thought they had good quality players here and uh, put my hand up to coach them this year because uh, Mark went over to Nycliffe. And just unfortunately that we uh, had to lose a few players back to the Tiwi Islands and... Uh, most of my senior squad were all injured and haven't come back yet, so when they do come back, we wonder should be up and running, mate. Paulie, how does it feel to have a second nephew playing in the AFL? Oh, mate, you know, you're always proud when a family member gets drafted somewhere or picked up in some sport or code, and uh, for Marlon to go down there and to uh, be picked up by Port Power to play with Daniel is uh, really good for him, great for our family, and... Uh, I think Marlon's got the goods to go a long way too. 2.30 Saturday, Nightcliff take on the Tiwi Bombers. After a poor performance last weekend, the Tiwi Bombers will be out to impress and should win comfortably. Tiwi by 48 points. At 5pm, Waratahs take on Darwin. Both sides were defeated last weekend and will be keen to make amends. Waratahs should be too strong for the struggling Buffalo side. Waratahs by 58 points. Palmerston hosts St Mary's at 7.30pm at TIO Stadium. This will be the match of the round, St Mary's by 18 points. On Sunday, it's first versus last. The reigning Premier Southern Districts host Wanderers at Norville Oval at 4pm. Southern Districts by 80 points.